Hi everyone, thanks so much for hopping on with us tonight. My name is Sarah Klesko and um, I'm a certified holistic nutritional consultant. I'm hosting tonight with my friend Mary Darling, who is an amazing group fitness trainer and also has some training uh, in stress resilience. So what a better what better person to help us to give some tips and tools around keeping our stress levels down, especially as we're going into holiday season, holiday craziness, um, and uh, looking at all, all of that fun stuff. So I'm just going to share our little screen here. Okay, perfect. All right, so Mary and I are part of a um, group of people dedicated to inspiring health uh, around the world. And so we'll host various events like this to give people value around being healthy, whether that's physically or mentally. Um, and so tonight is part of that. And uh, our nutritional foundation is really where it all starts. And it's, it's called Juice Plus. So we will be also sharing that a little bit later. So you can hear about that. So Mary, I'm going to let you take it away here and, and get us started. Awesome. Thanks, Sarah. Hi, everyone. So I, <laughs> I feel like, does anyone remember, I think last spring when there was that big CNN news report on and the, the gentleman was talking about, I, I don't remember what he was talking about, but everyone remembers perhaps the kids running in on the call and then the kids getting pulled back out. I feel like appropriately we're talking about trying to manage stress. Um, my four-year-old is showing his independence and he is right at my door determined to get in. So we could have a streaker. We will see. I'm just letting you know <laughs> it's what it is what it is. And I'm going to try and just let that go when we're speaking about stress and how to manage it. It's no big deal. He's four. Uh, and he's just very jealous that I'm here and he's not. So with that, I'm just going to jump right in. And before we get into some tips, I want to talk about what is stress and really getting down. And one of the biggest things is if we can identify stress and accept that it is an emotion that we have, it's going to be okay. It doesn't mean we're trying to get to a place where we never have stress, but we want to get to a place where we can manage it and we can manage it on a daily basis throughout the day so that when major stressors happen, we are better equipped to be able to handle them, cope with them, and almost thrive to get through it. So stress the definition of stress is stress is a non-specified response by the body to any demand that overcomes or threatens to overcome the body's ability to maintain homeostasis. And homeostasis is the body's internal sense of balance. So of course, not all stress is bad. You know, there's good stress, a promotion at work, you're getting married, you're going out for a kid-free date night. You are, you know, it's just something that's exciting. That's also stress. Exercise is a stressor on the body and it's all good and it's helping. It helps us to have, be more productive, puts us in a good mood, gets us more uh, engaged in life and positive. But then there's that bad stress. This is the stress that makes us feel out of control. Uh, like maybe we aren't going to be able to cope. We're becoming overwhelmed. We don't know where to begin. We're losing motivation. We have a loss of productivity. You know, it just, the negative feelings just start coming and you just, you get stuck and you get discouraged. And this is that bad stress. So whether we're being chased by a bear or perhaps chased by an overly eager salesperson, our body recognizes an alarm and it pours stress horm hormones, the adrenaline and cortisol, into our bloodstream. And adrenaline increases our heart rate and breathing rate, sends blood directly to our vital organs for faster muscle response and quicker thinking. The, uh, the cortisol flows through our body to keep stress response as long as the stress continues. So if we can't manage that stress, then the, our body is continually thinking we're in a stressed position. That stress response will help us react more quickly, but, um, if we are there and we're constantly stressed every day and every week, then all of a sudden, it's maybe not all of a sudden, but eventually then exhaustion, 
is going to set in. We're going to start to experience physical pain, a decrease in ability to concentrate, an increase in frustration. We're going to be increased in being impatient, uh, insomnia. It's just going to go up and up. So that constant stress does play a heavy toll on our mind, our body, and our emotional well-being. So regardless of the nature of our stress, like I said, exercise, uh, promotion at work, a daily commute, being chased by that bear, regardless of the nature, the body perceives stress as a biological event and responds in essentially the same way. So if there's any disruption to a homeostasis, the brain initiates that appropriate fight or flight or freeze response. And then there, this is what, uh, where our body is in that constant state of stress, depending on, even if it's a good stress. So we've got to keep in mind that the various levels of stress in the body, that is all natural and it is okay. And it's even critical to our survival. Key though, as long as our bodies are given the opportunity to recover between stress, we need to find, figure out how to recover between stressful situations or any stressors on our body and our mind. So let's, here's, here's a really good example. This made it make sense for me. Our ancestors, um, they survived. It was a very different way of life. So their primary stress involved fighting or flighting against a predator for pure survival. So this was intense, like a crazy amount of stress. They had to fight or flight for survival. But after that brief encounter, the body was able, it had plenty of time to recover. It had plenty of time to get back to homeostasis. So it ensured that each system had time to complete any needed repair or recovery or replenishment. Unfortunately, today our stress is very different. It doesn't sound like that. Today's stress, it's lower intensity most likely, but it is sustained for long periods throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month. And the problem there is that we don't get to take, give our body a chance to replenish, recover, and repair. So with that, I'm going to let Sarah jump back in and talk a little bit more deeper about the effects on our body. Sounds good. So Mary had a great introduction there. And so she mentioned that we need to recover. And what happens is a lot of us are running around with chronic stress. So meaning that it's happening over a long term. And when we have cortisol and adrenaline in our bloodstream for a long period of time, it starts to do damage to our cells and tissues. Um, so oxidative stress is, is what that's called. And I don't know if you guys can see here on uh, the screen here, what a cell with oxidative stress looks like. Uh, it doesn't take a scientist to recognize it's not good, <laughs> but really what that cortisol is doing in our um, tissues and in our cells is uh, creating free radical damage. So um, that's the root cause of all disease. So that's why it's really important to manage our stress, whether that stress is coming from um, our mental stress, that's just one of it, but it may be from environmental stress and toxins or even our own thoughts. We can get into that a little bit later, but essentially what's gonna happen when you have chronic stress in your body is inflammation systemically, meaning in the whole body, um, oxidative stress, and uh, increased biomarkers that lead to disease such as homocysteine levels in the blood. If you go get you know, blood work and and you see someone's homocysteine levels are high, then um, it's, a, it's a good sign that there's a disease process or something on the way. So that's really one of those markers we want to keep down. So some of the tips that we're going to share with you guys tonight are going to address those things on a cellular level, as well as just help you to manage your stress. So before we can even start to manage, uh, before we can start to manage our stress, we need to be able to identify what our triggers are identify what what stresses us out you know it could be as simple as <laughs> your alarm blaring at six in the morning or whatever time you get up or if your alarm is your kid waking you up and you don't get to wake up by choice um, it could be your daily commute to work it could be that your office mate is someone that you really don't get along with. You know, whatever your trigger is, you really go through your day and think about what are your triggers, where are your stressors, and is it something that I can remove from 
my day, from my week? Is it something that uh, I just have to deal with? There is no choice. Is it stressful to think of dinner after a long day and try and get that made and put out on the table? You know, you probably still need to eat. So, but is there ways that you can, that you can uh, get, figure that out so it's not so stressful with meal planning or um, some of the, the food options that are out there like ordering chef's plate or uh, good food, those types of things. But once you start to identify your triggers and you know that your, our days are full of them, um, there's things that you can do throughout the day to try and just start to manage that and give your body a few minutes throughout the day, not just an hour at night, but throughout the day where you can just start to calm down. So if you're driving and you're a road warrior and you're dropping kids off at daycare, dropping kids off at school and then heading to work, treat yourself and buy yourself a car diffuser. I absolutely love it. So a car diffuser, and then you've got your essential oils and put in some nice, your lavender or your, there's even stress away blends that are already out there. So you don't even have to think about which blends, but um, as we're heading into Christmas, does the smell of peppermint make you happy? So maybe you could put peppermint in your car and uh, just be smiling because it's Christmas time. These smells uh, will really help to just calm the body and relax the mind. Another thing that you can do if you've just had an encounter and you know that you're a little bit stressed, breathe out. <sighs> just breathe out. And it just starts to take that body through back to, to the, uh, back to calm, which will help. I'd like to say, you know, coming into Christmas time, everything is going to get even more intensely stressed and it's okay to say no. So if your triggers are there and you're not being able to get rid of them, you don't have to keep taking things on. Prioritize what's important and you can say no. You can say no to certain events. You can say, no, you can't get this done. And that's really gonna help you to manage throughout Christmas. You, you don't have to continue to take on every single extra party if you, can't, if you don't feel like you're up to it. Um, after you've identified your triggers and your goals, you know, you, can, you keep going and you're going through, through your day. We're all trying to get to optimal health. And our optimal health, of course, is our mindset and our nutrition and then, and then our fitness. And for me, fitness is cardio, respiratory, uh, and muscle strengthening and flexibility. Now, optimal health, you know, we start with fitness. Well, it's not going to do us any good if we're stress, 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 and then we're going to go and hit an, an hour long high intensity interval training class and keep going with that high stress and then go down. We still haven't afforded our body that time to get back into homeostasis. So if, if you think, and yeah, you're going to feel good after your exercise class for a few minutes, but we still need to be managing our time and our stress throughout the day. So it's all encompassing. Optimal health isn't seven days a week or six days a week, high intense interval training exercises or some major weightlifting or going for your 10K run every single night. You also need to consider some strength training. You know, example, squats. If you go to class, your group fitness classes and you grumble because you don't like a squ doing squats, well, quite honestly, your fitness instructor is probably going to tell you you should be thanking me because in your later years, do you want to sit on the toilet? So, you know, there's these things that you're doing right now for health in the future, but let's make sure that we're doing that for our whole body. And it's not just about fitness. Um, some really great tips that I absolutely love that we've started with, with our family for a tradition over Christmas holidays is we rent a hockey rink and the whole family gets active and goes out and exercises and we play games. You could look into renting a gym or, you know, just getting outside. If the whole family is over at your house, instead of you staying back and doing the dishes or you staying back to get the hot chocolate and popcorn ready while the rest of the family goes out tobogganing, go with them. It would be much better for you to get some fresh air, for you to walk up that hill, 
with your niece or your nephew or your friend or your aunt or uncle, whoever it is, and even toboggan down with someone and have a good laugh, but get outside, be active. Or on Christmas day, instead of doing the dishes while everybody just starts to move over to the couches to sit down and drink eggnog, say, hey, mother-in-law, let's go for a walk around the block and look at the Christmas lights. The dishes will still be there. It's gonna make you feel good. It's going to just, it's, it, it's just going to make you feel good. So I would recommend over Christmas, you know, you, you don't have to totally quit fitness. You don't have to go to the gym. Um, if you need to go because you want to get away from all the family, absolutely, let's go. But uh, you absolutely try and just get out, even if it's a 10-minute walk around the block. So you get that fresh air. You get your heart rate up. You're gonna, it's just going to help you regain a little bit more composure be in a better mood to be able to continue singing those Christmas carols with your family. That's it. Quick tips for fitness. And Sarah's going to jump in now. Yeah. So fitness is a big part. I know when I finally got my exercising gear last year, it made such a difference to my stress levels. I feel like I can manage and cope so much more. Another part of this that I'm really passionate about is our nutrition, because what we're putting into our body is either going to fuel that healing restorative process, or it's going to actually make it worse and make your body have to work harder in your liver and your kidneys and everything. So nutrition is so important. And every body is a little bit different in terms of what works for nutrition. But for the most part, there are certain things that is true for all across the board for everyone. And one of those things is eating the rainbow and making sure that you're getting a wide variety of fruits and vegetables every single day. So we want to eat mostly plant-based because that's how our bodies were designed. That's what our gut is looking for. And our gut is like our second brain. So that's going to help you as well. Um, so take, it's not just uh, how many fruits and veggies you're eating, but think about the variety every single day and on your plate. So every single meal should include half um, half of it being fruits and vegetables. So if you think about that at every single meal and think about what you're doing, um, the problem is that most of us are eating highly refined foods most of the time. So this is our standard American diet. It's no different in Canada. We're eating a lot of grain products, a lot of dairy, meat, and eggs, and um, while some of this stuff is of course like good in moderation and healthy balance is good like no we all have this stuff sometimes it's not a shame thing at all um but if we're having it most of the time then that's the problem so if we live at the 80 20 rule we want 80 percent of the time to be that whole food and 20 percent of the time you know we treat ourselves and, and we do these things so the standard American diet doesn't supply even a tenth of the micronutrients that we require to prevent disease and obtain excellent health. Um, and that's part of uh, what happens uh, as a pathway when we eat refined foods is it goes towards that oxidative stress, creating more trauma in our bodies to, to try to restore from. So our family um, is really grateful that we found a way to bridge the gap between what we are actually eating on a daily basis and what we should be eating. And man, I feel so much more prepared when it comes to stressful events that I can just have more of that. So I'm going to let um, Mary share this uh, wonderful game changer that we have found. And it is a game changer. And I am so very grateful that Sarah um, shared Juice Plus with me. And uh, my family and I have been using the Juice Plus products for about six months now. And I'm, I'm blown away with the results. Um, you know, this, this fall already has been fairly intense with colds and a lot of sickness going around all the schools and the daycares and I'm happy to say that we've been fairly clear the whole fall which uh, the past two years my family all of us one of us would get sick and it would circle through from October all the way to June so we're starting off this year pretty pretty good and pretty exciting and you know, when we started taking the, the Juice Plus, I got it for my kids with the Healthy Starts program. And I didn't think that any, I needed it. I was like, uh, I'm vegetarian. I absolutely love kale. Like that's what one of my cravings was when I was pregnant. I, it's, I don't know, I love fruits and vegetables and I didn't think I needed it, but I ordered the Trio capsules in order 
to get both my boys their, their gummies of 30 whole foods. And what happened was a pleasant surprise is that I actually started feeling crazy good. And I thought I was already feeling good. And I thought I already had a ton of energy. But all of a sudden, what I thought was that mom lag at two in the afternoon was gone. And I could just keep going and going. And I had so much energy and I was happier and I was sleeping better. And another thing while we're, since we're on a call about stress that totally shocked me is a stress was removed for me in that it was okay if I had a crappy day of eating food, my boys, like struggling to make them, get them to eat any vegetables some days was close to impossible. And then once they started taking, having 30 whole foods in their, in their gummies each morning, I, the stress was removed. And I, I, like, I just loved it. Like it was all of a sudden that pressure of being that mom that making sure they eat their vegetables was gone. And it was so great to just have that relief so that I could actually enjoy making food with them and, and being okay with, you know, you know, some days them not eating the cucumber that's put on their plate. So Juice Plus is 30 whole foods. You can see the screen right there. It is, it is um, Juice Plus company has all of their own farms. And so they know what to, it's all organic. They are, they're all harvested when they're fully ripe, which is so, so important because everything that we're getting in the grocery store has been picked way long before it's been ripened and it's starting to ripen along the way to the grocery store. So they wait until it's fully ripened then they take everything and they pick it and then they, they dehydrate everything at a low, 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 low temperature. Then they spin it and they spin it out. So they spin out all the sugars and all the liquids and that's how they can get 30 whole foods into a capsule. So right there, we're eating the rainbow like Sarah says that we absolutely need to do. And uh, we're starting our day with, with 30 whole foods of fruits and vegetables and berries into our system. Juice Plus, also, oh, the, health, the Healthy Starts program. So I, I mentioned that this is free for kids uh, for up to four years. And you know what? How can you not? It's not going to hurt. It's fruits and vegetables. And what's amazing, and I personally have seen this happen, they start drinking more water. Their cravings start to shift from the processed packaged foods into the eating spinach off the, off the leaves in the garden and wanting the cucumbers and the carrots on their plates. So their cravings for more fruits and vegetables happen. And it's reported that there's less sick, sick days at school, at daycare, which then in turn means there's less sick days that you need to take at work. It's pretty awesome stuff. Juice Plus is um, very specific. They have seven products. So they have our capsules and they have the chewies. Then they also have the shakes. So the shakes are come in a vanilla and a chocolate flavor. And now this will add, these are protein shakes and they're vegan, non-GMO, gluten and dairy free, and they taste delicious. So you can add in the shakes, you're getting even more fruits and veggies per day. You would be getting 45, I believe, um, up from 30 once you add in the shakes. And uh, then you've got an, a crazy complete amount of rainbow colored fruits and vegetables fueling your body every single day. <laughs> I'm skipping ahead a little bit. 45 Whole Foods. Look at this. It's NSF certified. So what that means, NSF certified, is that what's on the label is in the product and what's in the product is on the label. There's nothing else. There's, there's no filler. There's no chemicals sprayed on that. It is, it's a really hard certification to get and uh, Juice Plus products are all NSF certified and also really awesome for anyone that's a research geek. There is over 35 published, published clinical studies. They're all independent studies. So Juice Plus doesn't, uh, doesn't know what the results are gonna be. This is all, you know, just, it's true research, placebo effect with humans as to what is found in your blood when taking Juice Plus. They have found that your body recognizes your capsules as fruits and vegetables. So you're taking a capsule, you're taking fruits and vegetables. Yes. <laughs> and it's 
Juice Plus then improves our gum tissue. It supports the immune system like hugely, improves cardiovascular wellness, reduces inflammation, and this is all proven in these studies. So childhood obesity, our quality of life improve, our skin is healthier, you almost have a little glow to you. So it's, it's awesome stuff in that research. And I can, of course, send that out to you. Then there's the omega blend. So, you know, we all need to have omegas and omegas are uh, pretty important. And what I love about the Juice Plus Omega Blend is that it is 100% plant-based. And what that means is instead of the omega being a fish oil, we're skipping the fish and we're going straight to the algae that the fish eat to get the omegas. So it's completely vegetarian and uh, it's, you don't have that aftertaste of, of a fish oil and you're getting all of the benefits of your, your, omega, your omegas. So I'm going to just speak on this real quick. So our family's been using this Tower Garden. It's the seventh product um, that Mary mentioned. And uh, we've been growing for about five years now. But before we bought our Tower Garden, we, we watched our... Um, my in-laws grow theirs first because I wanted to make sure does this thing work because <laughs> this is an aeroponic growing system that sits um, about five feet high um, I think about six feet with the extension is how that works so you can grow um, over 20 different plants at the same time you can grow anything that's not a tree or a root so it's really fun we've had a lot of fun growing different things and experimenting um, but uh, the biggest thing that I love is, you know, last year when there was all those outbreaks of listeria and all of that E. coli and the romaine was recalled, I didn't have to worry about that because I had romaine growing on my tower garden. And I was like, oh, this is so nice. I can, I'm eating, I'm the only one in Alberta eating Caesar salad right now because <laughs> I tried to go to the restaurant and order Caesar salad, like romaine is recalled. Um, so just giving people the power to grow their own fruits and veggies is huge. It is a money tree because you grow your own food. So if you think about the money you spend on organic herbs or um, lettuce over the year, and then how much of that might go bad in your fridge before you get a chance to eat it, that was a big thing for us. So I pick it when I need it and it stays fresh. So there's no dirt at all. Um, it just has that water basin at the bottom that has water and tonic solution, which is the closest thing to being earth without being dirt. And it sprinkles with a pump system, it just sprinkles up the, the reservoir and then trickles down to the roots that are inside that, that base. So it's really fun. The kids love it and they eat way more veggies because we're growing it ourselves. So the third component of that optimal health that we want to talk about is mindset. Mindset is huge. And uh, one of the biggest things that um, I like to look at it, this is just that we all have choices. So sometimes it feels like our feelings choose us or, um, you know, when something happens to us, there's a stimulus and then there's a response. And in between that stimulus and response, that's the space called mindfulness that changes that response. Sometimes it can feel like, okay, this happened. Now I feel like this. And it feels like it's like this, but it's really, there's a separation. And if we can take a breath and think about things a little bit um, or get into our bodies and just think, okay, how do I want to respond to this? Rather than just a, a knee jerk reaction and get into reactive mode, then we can really change our lives and our stress. So um, the biggest thing that you can do to help yourself get into that proactive state where we're not just reacting at everything, we're responding with mindfulness is to get into gratitude. So um, daily gratitude is so huge. I really like using the insight timer to help me to get in that state. Some people like just doing a gratitude journal. We're actually doing a gratitude challenge right now with our team. 10 days of gratitude and it's so wonderful and all the things that manifest from there. We really do um, uh, choose our feelings and, um, and our, our responses. So taking accountability for that changes your life. Um, we also have some uh, great free, oh, you know what, before I jump into this, Mary, did you want to share your, that story about um, that time you changed your mindset? You had a really good example. Yeah, I would love to. Um... So at a couple weeks ago, I changed my mindset. I made a choice because everything we do in life, we have a choice. And 
I was, of course, getting the boys ready. We were going to a doctor's appointment and loaded up into the truck. And I was like, woohoo, we're, we're going to be five minutes early. Like, boom, nailed it. Feeling good. Go to start the truck. Totally dead. Battery dead. I'm like, you're kidding me. I'm so frustrated because of course it's my fault because the day before I let the boys play in the truck while I'm unloading the groceries so what did they do they turned on every single button they could possibly find and switched off the on all the lights so I didn't have time to go through the truck and think about it. I didn't even think about it because then trying to get them out of the truck so anyway battery dead not gonna make a doctor's appointment and I was and the doctor's appointment was a wellness appointment we have to do those so it wasn't, it wasn't anything uh, too awful, but I was just shocked and I was like, oh my gosh. And so we all went back into the house and I was really frustrated and I was just, I was yelling and I wasn't yelling at the boys. It was not their fault. I was just yelling. I'm like, oh man, man, kind of like, what are we going to do? Our day is ruined. This is it. And my four-year-old Zach says, mom, remember our board? because we do little uh, positive affirmation boards. And on it, the day before it, it said, you, I can handle this. And I looked at him like, yes, I remember the board. And he said, you can handle this, mom. You can handle this. And I looked at him like, you're right, Zach. I can handle this. So I can handle it. I called AMA. They fixed the truck. We didn't make it to the doctor's appointment, but he just put it back in perspective and it was so amazing. Like they teach us so much, but I just changed my mind. I could have let that kind of make me grumble all day long. I could have let that ruin my day, which then would have ruined the boys day. And we would have, it just would have started to spiral into everything was going to go wrong. But he just said that was just remember that. And I switched my mind and we had the best day. Um, yeah, we had the best day. That's my, deciding to make a choice and going with the positive. I love it. Alrighty. Well, um, we really want to thank everyone for tuning in tonight. It means a lot that you took the time to hear about what we're passion passionate about. And we hope that um, you um, got a lot out of it. I just want to give you this website as a gift. Um, healthylivingrevolution.com has tons of great resources. There are cookbooks, there's smoothie, cook, um, smoothie recipe books. There is uh, a lot of different webinars on various health topics if you're interested. There's home fitness videos. If you can't make it to a workout, you can press play on any of those videos and get that in in your living room or whenever you get a spare chance. Um, and you know, maybe you heard something tonight that uh, resonated with you and that you feel that you could benefit from and we'd be happy to help you with that. Or maybe you're sitting there and thinking about other people that might benefit. And if that's the case, please feel free to connect them to us. We love helping people with their goals. Um, and uh, we can help to, to figure out what's the best mode of action for them. Um, and so thanks so much for listening. Have healthy holidays. We have a smoothie challenge coming up for December that you might be interested in. We're doing 12 days of smoothies in December and we'll all be sharing our fun Christmas inspired photos. <laughs> Some of them a little bit more amateur than others. Probably mine will be amateur, but um, if you'd like to be a part of that Facebook group, just please let one of us know. We'll make sure that you get added and can partake in that. We, of course, are going to be using our Juice Plus Shake Mix. So if you guys want to get your hands on that it comes really quick in the mail and we can definitely do that for you so thanks so much again and have a great night